Hello and welcome back to Mars. I'm Mick. We're playing Stationeers. Right, this time we will pick up where we left off from the last one, building our little Mars uh, base. This time we will be putting in an atmospheric collector and automating it all. So, uh, coding warning. Um, we're going to be doing a lot of writing code in this one and putting in a few things there. Automating it all. Um, yep, so don't say you weren't warned. Radio, let's get on to it, pick up from where we left off. There we go, it's probably just a little bit past midday with the new drill. And I have mined more than I would normally mine in a whole day with the other drill. Uh, so yeah, if you're getting it there, if you got a chance to get upgrade your drill to the heavy drill, do it. Always, every time, no questions asked, just do it. Uh, right, so let's do some uh, smelting. And let's get a building. Uh, drink time. Now, still can't breathe. Oxygen critical. I could just drop some oxide in here and bring it back to uh, breathable. Oxygen critical. Uh, that would work. Uh, how are we doing? Potato seeds. Nice. So there's our first lot of potatoes. Okay, we're going to make ourselves a breathing gas supply. So for that, I am going to put down a tank. Um, we have got the large powered vents. So I should put in a largerest one of them I can make. Now I'm going to put that in so as it goes all the way around the back so as I can actually put the um, drains on the other side of the building. Uh, I can put them over here so as I can put these as far away from the inlet as I possibly can because these large vents are sucking gas from a large radius. I shall also want to set up a carbon dioxide intake, which I'll probably put on this side, uh, which will be just a very simple vent. Uh, spanner to increase the storage capacity of the pipe. And I've put another drain which I don't have. Oh look, I found one. Onto there. So that should just be able to suck in carbon dioxide during the day and uh, pressurize it until the pollutant squeezes out of it. And you shall be the outside sensor. We need to know what temperature is outside before we actually start uh, sucking in the gas. So you'll need to be connected up. Right, we have an analyzer there. That is our carbon dioxide analyzer, which we shall Not really going to be just carbon dioxide, there'll be a bit of nitrogen and oxygen in there, but that will be good enough for what we want to do. Oxygen critical. Yeah, I know, but I'm eating my potato. Pop that back on the floor. Uh, right, uh, probably a cupboard might be handy in here. Now, we are pretty much done with the old one there, so I could pull that one out now. Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and rip that out. You can go to there, you can go to there. The, you can go to there, and you're going to be right in front of that tube, aren't you? No, I can still reach you, that's okay. We have power. Right. 
We have entered the 1980s. We have a PC. Um, right, so we might start with this one. This one is going to be collecting our, our um, breathing gas. So we connect, collect it at night time when it's about minus 20 degrees and we shall pressurize that and once it, at that temperature and pressure we should find that the carbon dioxide and the pollutant will both um, will both liquefy uh, so we say um, pollutant uh, if we go to our graph there we find that uh, at room temperature whoop, that one should liquefy at 3600 uh, kilopascals. Uh, we're going to do it at night time. So we'll basically liquefy anywhere between minus 100 and plus 148 degrees. Uh, so that one's not, a, not an issue. Uh, carbon dioxide. Now this one is narrow little graph, so it has a narrow temperature range there. So if I can keep it below minus 12 degrees, it will liquefy. As long as it doesn't get to minus 52, when it freezes, I should be okay. So once we hit minus 20 degrees, say, outside, we shall start sucking in gas from there. Uh, okay, so we I didn't hook up that tank, did I? Well, lovely. Um, alias the tank. Oh, I'll call it the air tank. Air tank to the zero, and I shall alias the... Uh, air intake to D1, which will be the large vent. Uh, that should be enough. So I'll start and a, a yield. I shall load into... Oh, I shall need the outside temperature as well, won't I? Alias the outside sensor to D2. I'll load into R0 from the outside... <laughs> Out the side sensor, the uh, temperature. Temperature. Uh, now we shall, when it's colder, so we set a less than. So if the temperature is less than minus 20 degrees or to 53 Kelvin, uh, we shall turn it on. So save air intake on. Uh, zero and jump to the start. Um, I should probably set it to internal. So, uh, uh, save air yeah, it's intake. Oh, I should have called it air vent, shouldn't I? Intake to um, uh, mode one. Um, Export you, and I've got to go outside and hook it up now, don't I? Well done. Now I should be able to switch you to the air tank, which will be the insulated tank. All insulated tank. Air intake will be the large powered vent. The outside sensor will should be the outside sensor okay we set you switch you on you go to inwards and you stay off because it's too warm outside nicely done now we need to set up this one as well so we should have for that one alias the uh, co2 intake to d5 let's try d4 and alias the uh, CO2 tank to D5. Alright, uh, so we shall do a similar sort of thing again. So, uh, well, basically, just copy that, won't we? Uh, copy V. Copy, paste, copy, and paste. Now we shall. Now we 
we don't want the CO2 to evaporate from the to condense from the CO2 tank, so we shall do that during the day. Uh, so we shall say set greater than. So come on during the day when it's above zero degrees. Um, yeah, how do we say above ten degrees? Above sorry ten degrees, so it'd be eighty three. Ah, uh, so two eighty three. Uh, save uh, CO2 and take on uh, save CO2 and take mode 1 uh, now I guess I want to make sure they don't overpressure as well won't we so our uh, what shall we got on there? So I shall load into R1 from the CO2 tank. Um, CO2. <laughs> CO2 tank. The uh, pressure. And we shall set less than. I set R1 if the pressure is less than uh, 10 megapascals. And of course, then we shall just uh, make sure both of them are true. R0, R0, R1. And I can do the same thing for this one here. Uh, copy, paste. Copy and paste. I've missed one. You copy and paste from the air tank. And... Um, export yeah we'll have an error and now we should want the yeah okay I got it wrong we should take the CO2 intake vent and the tank is the CO2 analyzer right call you them so you are inwards and you are pressurizing. Nice. Okay, so that is going up. Once that hits 10 megapascals, that vent should shut off. And once it reaches about 3.5 megapascals, the pollutant should start liquefying. Uh, 3.6, there we go. It starts to condense. And we now have the pollutant liquefying nice uh, and we've got a bit of fog coming out of there cool now that one's working this one uh, may be working we'll find out once it gets cold or dark or night time whatever you want to call it so that one will control my tanks for the outside uh, I now need to think about um, actually getting that stuff inside safely so I'll need another chip and another housing okay so new housing new chip waste tank caution uh, I don't need to empty waste tank oh I haven't got a warning about that filter yet hmm I might want to get a new filter. Now I have a pipe coming in here with our breathing gas and I have a pipe coming in over here with our uh, that's shut off now because it is um because it is too cold outside I imagine. No, because I've got 10 megapascals in there and you see all the pollutants gone. So it is 95% carbon dioxide, no pollutant with a little bit of oxygen, a little bit of nitrogen, a little bit of oxygen, a little bit of nitrogen, not going to hurt the plants and they'll make me happy to have a little bit more of that because at the moment, um, yeah, not good. Import you, there's nothing in there, cool. Uh, so I shall want to know the uh, room sensor. Uh, I shall want to know the uh, CO2 pump. The one, and I shall want to know the uh, air pump. Yep. Air pump to D2, and I shall want to know the source vent to D3. 
D3 because I can, and I shall uh, look the uh, scrubber to D4. There are all the things in the room that we'll need to control. Uh, and we've got the sensor to do it. So, start yield. Right, first up, we shall want to first control the scrubber. Uh, to load into R0 from the sensor, the ratio. Uh, let's for a capital R. Uh, uh, ratio. Uh, pollutant. P pollutant. <laughs> pollutant. Let's try. Oh, wrong button. Pollutant. Uh, set greater. Set uh, greater than zero. So if there's more than zero pollutant in here, uh, save uh, rubber. Uh, rubber on uh, zero. Jump to the start. Um, export. You won't work because I need to put the scrubber onto there, which I haven't named, have I? Yep. Uh, the scrub event. Okay, we got fog outside, so that must mean this thing has switched on. Nice. And is that going to get too angry? Uh, ruh -roh. I might want to grab another vent on that one. Ah, <laughs> uh, yep, I want to do quickly, quickly, let's get it out there. Second one of them going to be enough. Ah, there we go. Okay, so I do want another one of them on there. I originally had two on there and borrowed one of them. Uh, don't do that. Okay, now you can have yours back and you might even get another one. That's better. Well, we can see from that one there that our percentage of oxygen and our percentage of nitrogen is slowly creeping upwards. As the CO2 and the pollutant condense and get ejected, uh, all that's left is these two. So that should give us a breathable amount of oxygen. Oxygen critical. Yummy floor potato. Oh, come on. Oxygen critical. I'm not going to leave 1% of a potato licked on the floor. Inside sensor. Right. Right. The scrubber is switched on. Uh, because I have pollutant in here. Which is dropping. Then that should switch off. Okay. Well, we'll see how that goes. Uh, right, the next one we want to look after is the, uh, let's look at the exhaust vent. Uh, I shall load, load into R0 from the sensor the uh, pressure. We shall say set uh, greater than, I set R0 if the pressure is greater than, uh, Let's say, well, we're going to set it at 75. So if we say 76, um, we should set it up first, shouldn't we? Haha, uh -huh. so save into exhaust vent. Uh, we want uh, mode 1 and save into exhaust vent uh, pressure. 
External, X, one word. External. Uh, 75. And save exhaust vent a lock one. So set grade and pressure, we shall save exhaust vent on uh, zero. Uh, confirm. We we want our exhaust vent, which is you. Exhaust vent, right. Export you. And you switched off. Nice. Oh, now it's switched off as well. Right, so we are below 76 kilopascals and we have no pollutants. So both the vents are switched off now and that saves us 200 watts of power. Nice. Ah, uh, now you are uh, still not a lot of ox. No, well, there's still a lot of CO2 in that. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's hook that one up. I shall need a volume pump. My nitrogen filter has run out now and it has not given me any warning. I hope I haven't got the warning switched off. <laughs> Sounds like the sort of thing I'd do. So now we should want to control our CO2 intake. So I shall load into R0 from the sensor the ratio carbon dioxide, uh, carbon dioxide. Uh, so now, if we are just blowing in uh, oxygen and nitrogen as the coolant, we will eventually run out of carbon dioxide. So we will have to put it back in again. So we shall put in our peak controller. So we shall subtract our zero from, we want it to come on when it is low. So we say the set point, which will be probably the 5%, minus the current setting. So if it is 2%, it will return a positive value of 0 0.03. Now we'll probably want to multiply that by uh, 100 because that's a pretty low number. And uh, we shall save to the CO2 uh, pump setting uh, 0. Um, so I want to put in our CO2 pump, which is uh, U. CO2 pump, excellent. Uh, export, and you should have gone to zero, which you have. Nice, okay. So now we just need to bring in this one. Uh, which I'm in no real hurry to do because it's um it's a bit nasty out there. Right now. We're all good, we're all good. Now that'll be our air pump. Uh, so we need to name it. Air pump. Right. Now, air pump will go to there. Oh, we are out of power. Uh, okay. That was probably that vent that did... Oh, vent shut off. Okay, we must be getting towards morning time then, I'm guessing. Uh, how do we do? We got up to 16%. Okay, well, all the pollutants gone. Carbon dioxide is still liquefying. Uh, it might take a few nights before that actually gets um, uh, filled up. Uh, now, let's go and put some power in the power machine. So we should want to do a similar sort of thing here again with the air pump, except we're going to do it 
with temperature. So we shall load into R0 from the sensor the R temperature because it will be cold in that tank. Uh, so now we want it to come on when it is uh, high. So we shall subtract uh, R0 equals uh, the current value minus the desired setting temperature of 298. Uh, if the current temperature is 300, that'll give me a positive value and switch it on. So save air, air, air pump setting uh, zero. So that will be a reasonable number. If it's two degrees warm, it'll give us a value of two, which we can trace up to there. If that one's 0.2 higher, it gives 0 0.02. It's a tiny number, so we give it on by 100. This one, we should probably pass that value straight on to the air pump. Uh, right. That should just about do us. Um, export that. And you have gone to 6 litres, because we're 31 degrees in here. Uh, okay, so what have we got in that tank? Uh, well, it's still, yeah, it's minus 8 degrees. Now that vent should come on. It was only 68 kilopascals. Temperature's going down. So that should be going down, which it is. And our oxygen is going up. A little bit of pollutant in there, so the scrub is still on. Once that reaches 76 kilopascals, this vent should switch on. Oh, there we go. Got there eventually. That's not doing a very good job. Oh, it did go down. Okay, right. <laughs> That's doing its thing. That's doing its thing. That will do its thing at night time. That's... I've got 10 megapascals in there, so yep, it's doing its thing. Right, so we are fully temperature and pressure controlled in here. Once that actually fills up or purges out all the CO2 in the line, that will be just blowing in oxygen and nitrogen, although it looks like it's going to take quite a while to actually do it. Um, but it'll get there. We have food growing. That's happy. Our atmosphere is clean. Scrubber is automated. Um, yeah, so we're here. We've got everything we need for survival. We have an unlimited supply of oxygen and nitrogen. Thanks to the atmosphere of Mars, we have an unlimited supply of CO2 thanks to the atmosphere of Mars, and um, we have an unlimited supply of coal due to, due to it being cold on Mars. Uh, all we need to do is uh, remember to get some more water every now and then, and pick our plants, and eat our plants. Oxygen critical. And I'm still not going to get that. And my nitrogen filter is still being fine. Uh, right, uh, right, now our next thing we might want to look at is uh, medical. So we might have uh, got to this point and injured ourselves somewhere along the line. What we can do, well, that one, is uh, put up our medical chamber. We have cryopods, they will heal you. Uh, so uh, that comes out of... Uh, 
The plumbing run. Right, tube, there we go. Never had any doubt. Steel and silver. I don't have any silver. Now, so what we need on this one here. Ah, uh, see, I just opened the door and let the pollutant in, and now uh, that automatically switched on. Nice. Now I can put that. Ah, oh, I'll need access to the room ventilation because it needs to be ventilated. Now, cryopod going to there. I need uh, plastic sheets and a welder, I think it was. Uh, screwdriver and glass sheets. I have a cryopod. So now this will heal me if I have sustained any uh, damages to myself. Uh, all I need is power. And whoop, there we go. I need to pop in there. Although oh, I probably wouldn't advise it at the moment because my atmosphere in here is not really breathable. But that's all you need. You just need a breathable atmosphere that is connected straight to the room. As soon as the room in here becomes breathable, uh, oxygen critical. Yeah, it's not at the moment. Uh, as soon as that becomes breathable, we will be able to jump into there and heal ourselves without having to use the uh, the magic suppository to get us healed. Um, but uh, so I think that's about all we have to do. Uh, we have we have our tank refilling outside. We have our well, we don't need to refill our welder anymore. We've upgraded it to uh, an arc welder. But well, we have more fuel outside, we have our oxygen filling tank, we have our breathing gas supply, we have our temperature controls, we have our carbon dioxide supply, we have our extensive uh, uh, garden. It's only growing one potato. You stupid potato! You're only growing one? Right, you're not getting replanted. You're an idiot potato. Um, uh, right, so I've got my food on the way, I have got my water, I have got my breathing gas, I have got my jetpack, I have got my uh, environmental supply, my cooling, my CO2, everything is automated. So this room, we could just uh, live in here forever and, uh, well, we'll run out of water eventually, so I'll have to go outside sooner or later. But our, our food, water, and breathing will all be done. As so after a few more nights, as I say, after a few more nights, uh, that will eventually fill up with just CO2 and nitrogen. And we should be good to go. So that is, uh, what are we up to? Day seven. So from one week, we have got a, a fully self-sustained habit habitat here where we can quite comfortably live. They even got medical facilities. Nice. Uh, but yes, but that's about how you get started on Mars post phase change. So I say we have used the phase change to our advantage here. We've used it as a scrubber. We're using it to uh, um, purify our breathing air. We're using it to purify our carbon dioxide, well, sort of purify, get the de pollutant to fly the, um, the CO2 intake. And we're using it to get rid of the CO2 from the breathing gas. Um, yeah, so there we go. That is a post, uh, post phase change survival on Mars. Uh, of course, there's still a lot more you can do, but uh, we just wanted to get to survival, and that will do us. So I still haven't got my. I'm still breathing nitrogen. What's going on here? Uh, but anyway, until uh, that'll do us for today. So until next time, happy building. See ya.